Today we are gonna open these eyeball chests and I'm gonna show you why these chests give some of the best loot in the game. Now to open these chests, you can't do it right away at the very beginning of the game. You gotta progress a little bit into the story. Now you're gonna come across the quest secrets of the restricted section. Now this is where you go into the library while Professor Fig is called away by the headmaster and you're gonna kinda sneak through the librarian. You're gonna learn a new spell called Disillusionment. Now all this spell is gonna do is basically just make you invisible. Now when it comes to this chest, it kinda makes sense, right? At the front of the chest, you see a big huge eye. Well, the eye is what it's doing is, is looking for anybody coming around. And the second that it sees anybody, it locks its contents. And so if you make yourself invisible, it won't be able to see you. The only trick with this is, is that you can't find the chest and then become invisible in front of it, it still is going to be locked. So you actually have to go out of its sight. So once you get out of the way where he can't see you anymore, then you become invisible or use the disillusionment one and then you walk up to it and you will see that the chest is now available to be searched and open. So we're gonna search this open and what we get is 500 coins. Now 500 coins is absolutely huge when it comes to this game for as expensive as things are not only with the gear but as far as all of the items that you can purchase for now and for the future you're gonna need so much coins and getting 500 each one of these chests is a lot. Now in Hogsmeade, there are a lot of these chests, which I haven't countered every single one of them. I haven't found every single one of them, but there's gotta be what seems to be like 20 that I've seen. Now over at Hogwarts, there is quite a few of them as well. I guess really the only question is, should you open these now? And to answer that, I am really not sure because at least from the progression of the game, what looks to be all those different things you can buy in all of these different shops and all of the things that you can progress to open and unlock in the game, are you gonna wanna spend all of your coins this early in the game? And I'm gonna have to say probably not. I would wait, and if you do open all of them or find all of them and open all of them, I don't think that I would spend all of the coins in the very beginning. And of course, which I'm sure a lot of people know already when you use the Revelio, it's, obviously a lot easier to be able to find these chests. So basically, you know, all you gotta do is just run around until you, you know, keep using it, keep finding these eyeball chests, keep getting these easy 500 coins. But like I said, it's super easy in order to get rich pretty quick. And for as many chests as there are, I am sure there's gotta be probably 30, 50, 60, 80. I mean, who knows how many chests are actually in this game. I know just running around Hogsmeade, I have seen a whole bunch of them, haven't even opened it close to all of them, but you could probably make easily thousands and thousands of coins in just five minutes. I mean, very, very quick, especially if you really need them to buy something, buy potions or ingredients or anything like that. But either way, hopefully this helped you and you know, you learned how to open those chests in a quick, fast way in order to get rich. But I'll see y'all next time. Y'all take it easy. We're out. Peace.